We have a former Olympic champion, the reigning European champion, who, by the way, has broken two world indoor records already this year. He's on fire. And the reigning world champion who defended his crown so magnificently in Doha last autumn. It's a little different, as you would expect, all three of them competing in their back gardens. And as their runways are a little bit different, even though we know these guys can knock out six metres for fun, which is why they are three of the all-time greats, the bar is set at five metres and we will have two halves of 15 minutes in which they are set the task of clearing five metres as many times as possible. Sit back, relax and enjoy. The last time these three were together was in France on February the 23rd and it's rather appropriate that we start our introductions with the man whose idea it was to bring them all together in the first place. He took Medaille d'Or in London eight years ago. So a very good afternoon to Renaud La Villani. I'm Renaud La Villani from France. I used to be world record holder. I'm Olympic champion, jumping 6 meters 16 and several times European champion. I'm at home. This is my private garden. I'm just excited to be back there and, and especially with all my fans behind me. But the sun is there. That's a good point. In the competition, and I thought it was it could be fun uh, to organize something uh, in life because we have nothing to do at, at all. And uh, well, I mean, it's uh, you know to to show the passion that we have for, for our sport, and it's going to be fun. It certainly will be. Thank you very much, Renault. So, from a good afternoon in France to a bon matin over the pond in Mississippi, where the reigning world champion, Sam Kendricks, is ready to roar once more. Hey, I'm Sam Kendricks. Two-time world champion in the pole vault. Great competitions like Doha and London are made by great competitors. Guys like Mondo and Renault. And something we have in common is that when we are all stuck inside in hard times like this, we've got our own pole vault set in our garden. Not everybody's going to have that chance, but we're going to bring something cool to you. A competition between the three of us and our own ultimate garden pole vault challenge. I hope you'll tune in to watch. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, this is my family home, and we've uh, we've lived here for years. And there's all kinds of character everywhere you look. And my lifestyle as an athlete fits right in. Well, great stuff. We're really appreciative of you joining us, Sam. And not too far away from you is a young fella who has absolutely shaken off the new kid on the block tag because he's the new world indoor record holder, the reigning European champion. So it is a very good morning in Louisiana to Mondo Duplantis. Hey guys, this is Mondo Duplantis here. Four record holder in the pole vault, European champion. I'm here in Lafayette, Louisiana. I will be competing here at my parents' garden. Really excited to be back competing. Really excited to be competing against these guys again. It's gonna be really fun out there. Hope you guys enjoy it. Well, Mondo, fantastic that you've chosen to join us as well. And we've heard so much about your back garden preparations from the age of four. And we are here with an insight on where it all began. Yeah, no, this is um, this is my home court. And this is where uh, everything started from. This is where it started ever since I was three years old or so. So um, I definitely feel comfortable back here. And uh, I didn't think I would ever have an actual competition, which is which is really cool. It was all just kind of fake competitions, dreaming of competing against guys like Renault and Sam, and now it's here, so I'm going to have a good time with it for sure. As I mentioned at the beginning, many of us have been missing live sport, and everybody is delighted that World Athletics is back on the agenda this afternoon, including the sports president, the double Olympic champion, Seb Coe. Renault, Sam, Mondo, thanks ever so much for coming up with the fantastic idea of the Ultimate Garden Clash. I know I'm excited, I know all our teams are excited, and the fans are really excited. Thanks for bringing a little bit of sport back into our lives. Enjoy the competition. Sam, what was your reaction when oh, Renault got together. in touch yeah, and said that he fancied having a, a competition from each of your three back gardens? Well, you know, I, I, I saw the advantages that we would all have a home court advantage. Uh, so I, it's a, easy to say yes to such a thing. Renault has been a, such a host for me around the world that I said, I'll do anything he says. And uh, Mondo, you've been having an absolutely incredible year. Five from five indoors, two world records. The reaction you got in Glasgow was simply incredible. It must be nice, albeit, yes, you know, this is not the Olympic Games and we're going to wait for another year for that. But 
it must be great to have another opportunity, albeit remotely, to take on two of your great mates and great rivals because you must have missed this sport. We all have. Absolutely. And uh, for me, I thrive off competition and I thrive off competing against the best in the world, which is Renault and Sam. So we've all been missing competition in this, those big meets. So this is just a – we're bringing a little taste of that here in these, these tough times, which is, I think, a, a really fun idea. So once Renault approached us with the idea, it was something I jumped on. I said, we absolutely have to do it. we got to figure out a way to make this work. So uh, I'm, I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're making this work. Well, Renault, you are by far – I'm sorry to clarify this. You are by far – the oldest of the trio. Now, on a very well-known athletic statisticians website, I had a look, and the first official five-meter clearance for you. I wonder if you can remember the competition, fourth of yeah. February, two thousand and six. Can you even remember that far back? Yeah, definitely. And it was like three kilometers from my from my home. It was uh, one of the first time I came to Clermont-Ferrand. So yeah, I remember the pole I used. I remember uh, which attempt I made. I mean. I remember everything, and uh, yeah, it's quite a long time ago, but uh, it's, it's fun to see that I'm still, uh, still able to, to manage it uh, this high easily. <laughs> yeah, I think you've still got a few, uh, a few volts of magic in the, uh, in the locker. Sam, I make it that your official first five meter plus clearance was on the 14th of January uh, 2012. Do you remember that occasion? Well, you know, if you believe all of the st statistics websites, you might be a little uh, misinformed. You know, in a little small town like this, we used to compete at our high school. Um, and my first five meter clearance was actually in the spring of 2011. It's a monumentous occasion for any pole vaulter, that five meter barrier and the six. Well, uh, yeah, well, only a fair few, only a small few get to do the six meter as well as the five. And we, by the way, if you are just joining us, we will be watching three of the all time greats in terms of heights reached and titles won. Between the three of them, they've won absolutely everything. Um, Mondo, uh, I make it on the, um, on the website I use for homework that Reno Nevada was your first official uh, five meter plus vault back in 2015. Not so long ago as Renault's uh, back in 2006. Can you remember that well? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a, a good five years ago and uh, at the time, you know, five, five meters was my six meters for sure. So, um, yeah, no, it, it's been a, a crazy journey to see where I've come since then. But, uh, you know, you can't take any, any bar lightly, even now, even though, you know, I know I can make five meters easy and we're all coming from a short approach, not our, our full distance. So this five meter bar is, is still nothing to play around with. So we're definitely going to have to take real jumps to get over this and we wanna, if we want to get over it a bunch of times, too. OK, well, speaking of getting over it a bunch of times, as you've just mentioned, Renault, you don't get to become a three-time world indoor champion and Olympic champion unless you you have seriously well-flowing competitive juices. How many clearances do you reckon you've worked out it's going to take uh, to beat these two great mates and rivals? Because you must have an idea. Yeah, I, I have an idea, but I can't see it in too big because it will give some tips to the, the guy. But uh, <laughs> we all agree to say that, uh, I mean, the goal is to be able to make one jump every minute and uh, it's going to be very hard. Uh, so that's the goal. We have to put uh, the limit very, uh, very high. And uh, we will show at the, at the half time uh, where, where is the situation. Well, wow, that, that is pretty punchy. One a minute. I guess, Sam, this is a little bit like an equivalent of a bleep test for pole vaulters, isn't it? Well, absolutely. It's new to all of us, which makes it interesting. None of us have done anything particularly like this or for this long. It's going to be a test physically as well as technically. And Mondo, what do you reckon? One a minute, yeah. realistic? You're the youngest of them all, the freshest legs. Yeah, I I'm just going to come out the gate attacking and try to get as many as I can early and then just try to hang on at the end. If I'm tired, I'll just try to let the adrenaline and the competitiveness try to take over. But I'm just going to come out attacking and then see what else happens. There he is, top right. He's got his name on his beard. What a pro. Uh, Mondo, can we have a little thumbs up from you? Your Mondo, thumbs up steward. if you're ready. Thumbs up if you're ready. Mondo's dad, Greg. It's a thumbs up. Mondo's ready. Sam Kendricks, the reigning world champion. Are you poised and good to go here? I'm going to take that. As a thumbs up, it's 15 minutes. The countdown, guys, here we go. It's the inaugural clash 
of the Titans, a triumvirate of excellence here for the first ultimate garden clash. Five, four, three, two, one. And the clock is running, hopefully. There it is. So you're watching Mondo bottom left, Reno top right, and Sam Kendricks bottom right. We will keep you posted how they go. So dominant in this sport. He hasn't had it all his own way in the last couple of years. He's had some difficulties, but he's still got some magic to Come deliver the world of athletics. Of that, we can be certain. 33 years of age, a rich history of pole vaulters in France, and he is the latest among them. Great speed from Mondo. That's a superb clearance. Who could forget the manner in which he won that European title? Unbelievable. 6.05. Still a teenager. He's still the world junior champion, right. as well as the uh, world indoor record holder. Silver behind Sam in a great competition. Get some, get some contact solution. In Doha last autumn. Figures. Four and a half minutes to go, guys, in round one of two, if you can hear me. That's butter. Mondo's looking good here. Is he going to run out of steam? Kendricks is playing a nice, steady game here. He's not getting too carried away. It's hard to tell. I think he might be smiling here. Just giving himself a little breather. Yeah, I, I, this he's not a spent force yet. Uh, Sandra on Facebook. We love all of this all the way from the Western Cape, South Africa. Well, thank you for tuning in, Sandra. We know you've got some world-class male and female athletes in South Africa. We hope they're uh, keeping well and staying safe. We're delighted that you're getting involved in our live feed this afternoon. It's wonderful for all of us. I've certainly missed commentating on athletics. And yes, this isn't a stadium, but it's great initiative and willingness from Renault, Sam and Mondo to put together something to while away the long weeks where we're denied world-class athletics. Sam Kendricks in third with a little bit to do here. I think the official scoreboard might be a fraction uh, behind because Kendricks had gone up to... Uh, double-figure clearances. Remember, the uh, the punchy aim from these guys was one a minute. That's 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 appearing a pretty tough target, although Mondo isn't too, uh, isn't too far behind here. He looks, he looks pretty good at the moment, but 30 in 30 minutes would be absolutely outstanding. And all of us connected to the sport cannot wait to, uh, to get going again what? outdoors. 18. Inside the last minute, guys. Renault and Mondo. Bang on 15. Oh, Mondo, the reigning European champion, the reigning world junior champion, the world indoor record holder, up to 16. Renault looking to match him. Oh, and he's done it. Now, what about Sam? He's clearing it by absolutely miles. Kendricks up to, is that 12? And just double checking. Yep. Wife Leanne doing the job on the uh, homemade scoreboard. We're having to improvise a little bit. Don't worry. The, uh, the official clearances is... Oh, there. Renault has changed. 16 and 16. Mondo up to 17. Can Renault get this last one in? Oh, yes, he can. Outrageous. And Mondo up to 18, I think. Last couple yeah. of seconds, guys. And there we go. What a fantastic first half. Well, we thought it might be a little bit ambitious to uh, to expect one a minute. Remember, these guys are comfortable jumping over six meters, but not multiple times uh, every uh, every couple of minutes. They're really having to go for this. But it's Mondo edging ahead with Renault in second. Well, Renault's just having a quick chat with his uh, daughter. Um, <laughs> Sam, you're in uh, you're in third place at the moment, but we've had quite a few uh, comments. And by the way, everybody is is indicating their gratitude that you three guys have been willing to take part in this totally uh, unusual competition and format. Um, Sam, a few people think you're playing the long game here, and that you're going to come through with real speed um, in the second set of fifteen minutes. Is that the case? <laughs> Well, I'm only a man, 
but uh, I'll try to put on a good show. You know, it's supposed to keep people guessing. I'm only only trying to play what, what hand I have. A little bit of poker over here. <laughs> well, I have to say, your clearances are massive. You're not just kind of going over 510, 515. I reckon you've had a couple of 580s and maybe even a 590 in there. You've put oh. massive distance between yourself and the... Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Well, you know, the, uh, the trick of it is never how high you're jumping. It's how many... How many times you can make it? The crazy thing about this competition is you don't know what it's going to take out of you. I haven't been this uh, sweaty in a repeat of jumps since Paris in 20, 2017. You remember that, Mondo? 2018. Oh, I remember. I was gassed, and I'm gassed I right now. Gassed. <laughs> it's <laughs> a gassable offense. No, I'm right. Mondo, you've definitely been the most aggressive uh, on the runway. I think you're enjoying this, are you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I love oh, yeah. jumping. I love jumping in this backyard, and I love competing, so... I said I was going to go that first half and try to attack it, and I did. I don't even – am I, what am I – I'm at 18. What does everybody else have? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you, you smoked out 18 in that first half? Dang. Yeah, Sam, yeah I told you. He, I was attacking it. He was attacking. on fire. You're on 13. Renault is just a smidge behind Mondo on 17. Renault, wow. um, can you spare a few words for us? I'll tell you what. You might be the old guy, but you've still, you've still got it, haven't you? That's a pretty, that's a pretty strong first half from you. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, I was on the good, uh, on the good way, but I heard that uh, Mondo was uh, just uh, a, little, a little bit in advance on me, so I have to, to push a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, uh, I can't believe I have one miss uh, for now. But uh, I know the rhythm for the next, uh, for the next half, and uh, it's going to be hard and fun. <laughs> The second set of 15 minutes. And look at that. Mondo is absolutely on fire. Uh, Reno's uh, target has been adjusted there. He was on 17. He's really close to Mondo. Uh, Sam Kendricks now on 14, I believe. So that will jump up from 12. He was on 13 at the end of our first instalment. But how about that from Ashton Eaton? The ultimate garden decathlon. He was the poster boy in Portland indoors. And shared the podium. Renault La Villani took the gold there. Kendricks, the indoor silver. What a fantastic world indoors that was in Portland. It was so enjoyable. So, it's 19-18. And Renault now up on to 19. The scoreboard is just a fraction behind as Mondo now moves on to 20. Mondo and Renault very, very close together. Sam is now up into the 20s as well 550 to go guys another lovely clearance from sam kendricks what a beautiful place to train under lockdown for all three of them actually james rhodes i don't know whether mondo's dad greg can hear this james rhodes is asking can greg have a go well i tell you what he might have half a chance you know he has vaulted 580 although that his glory days were you know a couple of years in the past to be uh <laughs> to be polite. Anyway, Mondo leading at the moment. Renault not too far behind. Sam Kendricks on 20. Oh, now 21 now, I believe. Quite hard to read his, uh, his scoreboard, but he is now on 21. Mondo on 30, it looks Ten like. Matt, in my ear, can you confirm that Mondo is indeed on 30? Quite hard to read. Uh, from my front room here. So Mondo on 30, Renault on 29, and Sam on 21. Mondo's speed and aggression has not wavered one metre since he began. He's been absolutely flying. But you don't get to become the very best in the world unless you are extremely competitive. And all three of them really going for this. Brilliant to see. Four and a half minutes to go. We've missed watching these guys. Don't ease up too much, Mondo. Renault is quite close behind. Come on, Sam Kendricks. So often we've seen the magic from you. You are in the bronze medal position at the moment. He's just given us a little thumbs up. Renault just having a, a moment's rest. I think they'll be absolutely shattered after this. Really hope you're enjoying this. Duplantis, La Villani and Kendricks laying on a wonderful show here under lockdown. All three of them strictly <coughs> adhering to the rules of their respective countries. 
And everybody involved in the production also working remotely. Come in. It'd be wonderful to get together for a beer and a chat after this, but that will have to wait another few months, you suspect. How we'll enjoy getting back to the tracks and the stadiums around the world to see this magnificent sport where it should be in the main arenas, front and centre. But this is a pretty good substitute in the meantime. Holly Bradshaw, one of the most epic things I've ever watched. Well, Holly, um, we just had Stefanidi coming on saying that she fancies a go. So maybe we should line up a female uh, back garden pole vault. Meanwhile, back with this one. Mondo and Renaud Le Villani, very closely matched here. Sam Kendricks taking his time as he walks back. I love the wave every time he walks back. And if you're not familiar with athletics and you're tuning in just because you want any live sport, Sam Kendricks is the epitome of sportsmanship. If you tune in to a Diamond League um, or any major championship, even if Kendricks is not in front, even if he gets knocked out early, which is quite rare, he is always right there next to the runway, giving genuine encouragement to the other guys who are still left in the competition. One of the two, two nicest minutes. guys you could ever come across in the world of athletics. The same as Reno and Mondo. They are a tight-knit group of guys, and I hope they're really enjoying this, although, my goodness me, they're going to be feeling the lactic a little bit. This has been brutal. And Matt, can you confirm? I can't Two see minutes. because the whiteboard is a little bit obscured. Is Mondo on 33 or 32? Are they dead level, Mondo and Renault? Just confirm in my ear, please. Yeah. Renault's got 33. They're both on 33. Renault no, Lavillani. No, no, Renault's got 33. Renault Lavillani now on 34. He's into the lead. Duplantis needs to find something here. Kendrick's Renault's got 34. Yeah. Greg is shouting to Mondo. They're both now on 34. Oh, this is so close. Kendrick's is going to get the bronze on this occasion to go alongside the, uh, the two golds from London and Doha. Renault's in the lead. It was his idea, but you can bet your bottom dollar Duplantis is going to throw himself down this runway to try and at least level. <laughs> Renault's clear again. So too Kendricks. It's a great finish. Last minute, guys. The last minute. And in the case of a tie, we rely on countback, i.e. those with the fewest failures. And if that's the same as well, well, it'll be a tie for first. <sighs> So, Renault is up at the moment on 35. 35. Come in. 35 seconds. This is brilliant. The last half a minute. Kendricks for the bronze. Well, I make it, it's quite hard to keep count, but I make it that Renault La Villani is ahead of Mondo Duplantis. Now, guys, in my ear, can you confirm... Is it the normal rules? If they've started an effort, are they allowed to finish it? If they start on two or three seconds, but the time has elapsed whilst they're on the runway, does it count? Yes or no? Is it finished? Two seconds. Go. You can go. One more. One more. Go. Oh, we just finished. Sorry, Greg. It's done. We are well. done. And I make it. Guys, can you just confirm in my ear? I think Leno might have just done it. He might have shaded it, guys. We're just yeah. trying to clarify whether you've taken it on 36. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I did 36. Yeah. Yes, you got 36. Mondo, we're just waiting for clarification. Were you 35 or 36? Dramatic no. moments here for the ultimate. 36. 36? Uh, wait. There you go, yeah. It's first. Now, um, wait, new information it, here. We're reacting as we get it guy. here. I'm just going to double check this with the producers because surely, after this epic effort, 36 apiece, are they sharing gold or are you insisting the gold has to go to one of the two of them? Just bear with me here. You're watching our live coverage. Want to put it up? OK, guys, I'm going to let you decide here because the producers are saying, I think this has got to be a scoring draw. Apparently, Renault, your 36th effort was achieved just a fraction before Monday's. 
I think you should share <laughs> the first place, or do you I want to take it? Oh, it's got to be a share, hasn't it? Come on, guys. Uh, I, will, I will give a piece of the, of the, of the gold medal to, to, to Modo to share, to share it with him. <laughs> Perfect. That's fine for me. <laughs> I think that is the correct moral line to take, and it's absolutely in line with how, Why not? what a good set of mates well, you guys we, are. I'd be down to share if we tied like three more times. But you have shared there's no the title. It's slightly <laughs> chaotic at the end here, but this is live sport. We can't predict it. We can't script it. This great sport, this great sport of athletics is still alive and thriving under lockdown. Until the nope. next time, bye-bye. <laughs>